In seasonal influenza, we usually see the morbidity and mortality happening in older people whose immune systems are not working well. The unusual thing is that with H5N1, we're seeing deaths and severe disease in young, healthy children and adults. This virus is triggering an overwhelming immune response, and what seems helpful flips over into the unhelpful and dangerous. And so much of this chemical, cyt different cytokines, are released that it actually causes a worse disease. It causes our cell membranes to become leaky, our blood vessels to dilate, and for fluid to pour into our lungs. And the reason that you die is you literally drown in your own secretions. One of the hypotheses for why it is predominantly children that are dying of H5N1 is that they have the most vigorous, the most responsive, if you will, overly responsive immune systems compared to older adults like myself. So if a 12-year-old got infected with H5N1 and I got infected with H5N1, if you were a betting person, you would bet that that 11 or 12-year-old would die and that a 50-year-old would live.